Hi, guess what time it is? Two minute Tuesday. Just gonna put that up there. There's a reason for that. I'll tell you about it shortly. Whew. Uh, welcome to Two Minute Tuesday, the time of the week where I talk for more than two minutes and try and teach you something valuable. So today's Two Minute Tuesday is a bit of a ground breaker. I'm gonna talk about a new released feature in Facebook uh, or Facebook advertising. And it's all about Instagram ads and tagging products in your ads. Now, while this may sound like just a boring little update of something you can do in Business Manager, there's actually some pretty cool aspects of this. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I've got a little bit of an Easter egg, a little bit of a hidden a morsel of goodness that will actually might change the game with iOS 14. It very well might give you a 365 day option for targeting someone who's engaging in your ads. So roll the intro and let's get to this. All right, so like I said, two minutes. I'm gonna teach you something. I've got a screen recording already going and I'm gonna to cut to that in a second and we're going to go through how to build an Instagram ad for your Instagram news feed that you can tag your products in. So for a little while now, you've been able to tag products in your posts, in your organic content, but now you can actually do it in an ad. And like I mentioned before the intro, if you hang around to the end, I've got a little sneaky trick about something that might give you a 365 day targeted audience that you can get ads back in front of when they're viewing your products. So two minutes on the clock and let's just go with it. So on my screen, we're working on an account today, uh, Bizzle Australia, one of our good customers, hence why I was vacuuming, like you didn't think I actually vacuumed, do you? Um, what we're gonna do today is show you how to do this on Bizzle's account. So the first thing you need to do is connect your uh, sales channel on Shopify, if you're a Shopify customer, and this has to be done from the owner of the business manager. So client side, this has to be done. If you, it's your own business manager, you're fine. So you need to set up your catalog feed, which is gonna be your Shopify catalog feed. Now you can use a Flexify catalog feed down the track further, but you need to set up your Instagram shopping ability. Once you've done that, you need to come across to ads manager. Now this particular um, test that I'm showing you, we've tested it out already in the agency and you can do it on brand awareness, reach, conversions, traffic. What you can't do this on is video ads and you can't do it on dynamic product ads. So you can't do it on catalog sales. So, so for this instance today, for this instance today, we're just gonna use brand awareness, right? Uh, I've got all placements turned on for this exercise. You could just target uh, Instagram news feeds if you wanted to. What we're gonna do is add some media. So we're gonna add an image. It doesn't work on videos at this stage. And we're gonna add this beautiful image of a bundle, a product, right? So let's just put some extra placements in there so I don't look like a fool when I'm trying to do this. Uh, what we're gonna do is come in and edit our Instagram feed media. So we're gonna open up and see our little one by one square image here. And what we can do here is you can see products ta product tag. So if we click on that, uh, you can select your catalog and then we can start tagging products. So if I type in bundle, this is a Crosswave pet bundle and you can move this around. So these tags, you can set five, a maximum of five on an image and a maximum of 20 on a carousel. So if you've got a beautiful carousel with multiple images, you could have up to 20 product tags. Now, what happens when you put this tag on there, right, is it comes up with this little uh, view products option. And when you click that view products option, it does a full screen takeover of your phone. So if someone's watching on their phone or looking at this ad on their phone and they click it and it opens up a full screen, you've suddenly got a direct link to that product from your catalog, which is feeding from Shopify. And that's it, stop the clock. Now, here's the juicy bit. That was my basic two minute Tuesday. That's the, the simple stuff of how you can tag products in your Instagram ads. It's a new feature, it came out last week. And yay, yay for Facebook. You can now do that. Like that's going to be able to keep people, Facebook's trying to get people to stay in their ecosystem, right? The whole timeline of this is they want you to move to purchasing straight off Facebook or Instagram. They're not, they don't want you to go to Shopify. They don't want you to leave their platform. They're trying to retain you and make that shopping experience their own. Um, that's gonna be a game changer for getting people interacting with your content. Uh, if you're 
creative is good, if your copywriting is good, if, you're comp if you have compelling headlines, it's going to be a more of an incentive for someone to click that product link and have a look at the actual product in your ad. Now, the beautiful thing here is, and this is the, I could be called clickbaity and say it's like top secret and that it's like groundbreaking. It's like, honestly, I don't know if this is going to work, but have a look at what I'm gonna show you about how you can build an audience on this. And I want you to comment below once you've tested it out for yourself and I want you to get back to us. So we're going to go start testing it in the agency uh, as of today. We only found this this morning, uh, but we're gonna start testing this th this week and we'll report back in what happens. All right, so you can build different audiences based on how people interact with your, your Facebook, your Instagram, or your ad accounts type things. So what we wanna do is come into our audience section of Business Manager and we're gonna create a custom audience. Now, there's a few different options here. Facebook's sneaky and they'll sometimes change, they'll change things around. There's actually a Facebook source called Shopping and you can create an audience of people who have interacted with your products in a shopping experience on Facebook or Instagram. Hmm, let's click that and go next. What this then does is give you a few options. So this is where I, hands up in the air, do not know what the outcome's going to be, but I'm interested to learn and I'm interested to know what you think about this and how you test this. So you can now target and create an audience on Facebook of people who have viewed products in a Instagram page. So I'm guessing that doesn't mean you get the full screen takeover. They'd have to actually click on the product and then you can target them. Uh, people have pro viewed products and navigated to a website. People have saved products. P people have viewed Shopify. Ugh. People have viewed a shop's page. Now, I don't know if that's going to work. I don't know. That's physically the shop, Instagram shop or the Facebook shop. This next one is the one that I'm unsure of. People who have viewed a shop's collection. So people have viewed a collection in your shop on Facebook or Instagram. Will that work in this instance? If they view a product which is in a collection, is that going to be a way that you can retarget someone? And then there's all the generalized ones in here. So people that add products to their cart, people who check out products and people who purchase. This gives you the ability to do retention, audience building of 365 days. Now, if you can get people to stay in app on Instagram and view your products, have you now got the ability to circumnavigate the seven day attribution window changes and have you got the ability to build a, a rolling audience of people up to 365 days? Now, call me crazy, I might be completely missing something here. I've crawled through Facebook and Instagram's documentation to find out how these audiences are going to impact this. The only thing to do now is test. So we're gonna go test. Uh, I've already made Jane the team aware of this. We're going to go test this now. We'll come back to you in the comments and let you know, but I'm interested to know how you go with this. Um, comment below on YouTube and let me know if this works for you. How, did you find this already? Is this old news? Am I, am I old and washed up and should just go back to vacuuming the floors? Let me know. All right. That's it, two minute Tuesday, done and dusted. I really liked that one. I, I, I enjoyed that. I'm stupidly tired. I've got a sick toddler at home. I, but yeah, like that, that's, that's what I live and breathe for. That's what I come to the office for every day. That kind of stuff, finding that out, finding these little morsels, these little, these little holes and rabbit warrens and bam, those little things that you can do just to get in and around and create better results and better outcomes through your advertising. So if you liked it, subscribe, uh, comment below if you try this. Uh, honestly, if I'm full of shit, I can't say that. If I'm full of BS, comment below and let me know. If this is not gonna work, let's have a discussion about it, right? Let's be man to man, advertiser to advertiser, and let's, let's just chat about it, all right? Uh, all right, guys, peace. See you next week for another two minute Tuesday.